Oh my gosh, I got him. Oh my god. Look at that right there, baby. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. This feels weird even saying this, but your boy hasn't been filming the last 14 days. Uh, we have been sick. I've been sick. My man Cody's been sick. Um, we haven't seen each other in two weeks, which is it's crazy to link up today, isn't it? It really is. It feels, <laughs> it feels so weird. But um, Adam's sick. Alan Bob's sick. His girlfriend's sick. We've all been sick, but we're okay now. Um, feeling so much better today and we're ready to film some awesome content for you guys. If you guys saw the last video, we had a vlog of our whole Texas trip. Texas was a blast. The Bassmaster Classic was a blast. Fishing with Uncle Cy was a blast. And uh, we just had a awesome time and it just feels good to be back home and to be out on a pond right now, ready to catch some fish. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, Let's go ahead and hop into today's video. If you guys saw in the last video, I actually announced that we just dropped the new Kicking Their Bass TV combo brought to you by Luz. This isn't available for purchasing yet, but what I will say is stay tuned for the upcoming episodes. I'm gonna be announcing something very soon and I want you guys to hear about it. So make sure you stay tuned to every upload that we're putting out recently. I'm gonna have a lot of information coming soon on this combo. I'm just very blessed for this opportunity, guys. You know, I've been running Kicking Their Bass for 10 years and to be able to come out with my own combo, especially have Luz backing it, is uh, just a blessing to me. I wanted to say thank you to you guys because I would not be in this position if it wasn't for each and every single one of you guys watching and supporting me along my whole journey. And uh, like I said, this is just a blessing to uh, have this finally come to life. I've waited my whole life for this opportunity. I've worked for this since I was just a little tiny boy. And to see this come to life, just awesome. But um, we're going to talk a little bit about it today. I know you guys want some more information on it. And we're actually going to go fishing for the first time with this rod. I actually went a few times, you know, in the past year, just because, you know, to make this thing come to life, it has been about a year and a half, two years of production and uh, making sure everything's okay with the rod. So I have been going out fishing on my own time with this rod and reel combo and uh, making sure everything's okay with it. And I have caught some really big fish on it. But today is the first episode where we're really going out and putting this rod and reel to the test and seeing if we can catch some big fish. So the main reason I wanted to come out with this rod is because I understand that not everybody can go out and buy 10 different combos for 10 different baits in specific. I wanted to come out with a rod and reel combo that is one, affordable, and two, that you can throw just about anything on it. This is a very versatile combo. It's a seven foot, medium heavy, fast action, you can throw just about anything on this combo. You could throw a spinner bait, you could throw a chatter bait, you could throw a lipless crankbait, you could throw a worm, you can throw a jig, you can throw just about anything. So this is also a really great rod for y'all that, you know, don't have a boat. You're just pond hopping. The last thing you want to do is go carry five, six, seven, eight rods out to a pond. You know, I like bringing out one rod to a pond and covering a lot of water. And this is the perfect setup for it. Seven foot, medium heavy, very versatile. I actually put 17 pound fluorocarbon on this and uh, we're gonna go test it out today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, the, the color on this rod is a beautiful pearlescent green. You know, there's a lot of green rods on the market and uh, this has been my brand for, for 10 years with the green color, but I wanted to come out with something different. If you put this rod next to any other green rod out there, there's something about it. It just gives off this beautiful glow and I promise you it looks different than any other one out there. When the sun hits it, it just has this glow to it. And then when you get in the shade, it kind of looks more matte and it, it, they just did an awesome job. Big shout out to Luz. Um, I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for them either. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on everything. Make sure you stay tuned to the upcoming videos because I'm gonna have some information on when this thing's dropping. And I wanna tell you guys when it drops, I already know that this thing's gonna sell out within the first hour. I just know it's gonna happen. So I want you guys to uh, pay attention to the videos, make sure notifications are turned on so you guys get all the information on the combo when it is released. But let's go ahead and get out to this pond, make some casts of this thing and try to hunt for a really big bass. All right, so it's been a while since I've been to this place. Uh, my boy Delton, you know, we used to come out here a lot. We filmed an episode of uh, Fishing for Giants, you know, when we had that whole series going on and we had some really big fish. There's a ton of big fish in this pond. There's also a lot of small ones, but what I will say, the last few times we came out here, we haven't caught nothing. So today we gotta, we gotta avenge ourselves. We gotta catch some really big fish 
There's also another pond that we're gonna go to. And uh, if it's just not happening here, we're gonna pond hop today. But let's go give it a shot. I just think we have an opportunity to catch a massive one today. Let's get it started. This is the thing. You can get one of the best rod and reels possible, but if you don't know how to set it up, then it's not gonna cast good. So what we're doing right now is we're taking the time to adjust the braking system and getting this reel right. So we're gonna be able to make this long, smooth cast. You know, it's not gonna backlash on us. We're making sure everything's set up correctly. Which before I have this out, you know, and everybody starts buying it and we get them shipped out to everybody, I just want to make sure I make a video, you know, showing you guys how to get these rods set up. Because like I said, if you don't get it set up right, it's not going to cast good. Right now it's casting amazing. I mean, look at that. I beamed. I barely whipped that thing. It's all the way on the other side of the pond. It feels so good, too. This is actually a new one. I only have two of them right now, two of the bait casters. And this one feels amazing. The other one I was using was a test sample. It was my first ever one. And this is the second one, which this is still a sample. So the ones that come out are definitely going to be better. But I'm going to tell you, this thing feels really good. I'm impressed with it. Oh my gosh, I got him. He's not big. He's <laughs> not big. He's just running to the side. Oh my gosh. Well, I hooked him under the chin. Okay, <laughs> there we go, guys. First fish on the kick in their bass TV combo. Brought to you by Luz. Man, he is not the one that we want. But guess what? It is a fish, and we haven't even really made any casts. I was just adjusting my reel, and we just saw something bust at the top of the water. And got us a nice little tiny bass. Nice. Oh. Well, what you think, Cody? I mean, that was your first like serious cast. It was. After getting your rod set up and everything. You're gonna so. be so mad at me too. The lens is so, <laughs> so much water on the lens. Right oh my now. gosh. <laughs> but hey, it was the first kicking combo bass. What do you think about that? That's pretty cool. He wasn't big, yeah. but it was a fish. Let's get it. I was just telling Cody, I was like, man, that fish slammed it. Or I just don't know what a bite feels like anymore. I'm gonna tell you guys, I, I think this is the longest I've gone without fishing in probably 10 years, probably my whole career, which is just crazy to me. I've never just not fished in two weeks. I've never really missed any uploads, but I'm telling you guys, I was really sick. I did not feel good. So I needed the rest, and now we're back at it, catching bass on the new combo. Let's try to catch another one. So the biggest thing when coming out here and fishing these ponds is that I love covering water. And that's one of the reasons I love bringing one rod out there, is I like walking and casting. I think the more casts that you throw, the more of an opportunity you have to catch fish. So when I come out to these ponds, I just like walking and casting. So I'm gonna walk down this bank and just throw parallel with it. Then we might start playing with some angles, you know, throwing out towards the middle. But I always like to keep moving, covering water, and I promise you, you will outfish anybody as long as you keep on making more cast and walking down the bank like this. Bro, this thing beams. This thing feels good. Like my other one felt really good, but this one just, ooh, one just slammed me right there. This rod just feels like really good. I don't know if it's because I just put a new line on it and everything. It's beaming. Which I actually put this thing up against some $400 reels, not combos, just reels with the same bait, same weight and everything. And it was actually outcasting it, which is honestly crazy to me. Because if you guys didn't know, this thing's retailing at $139.99. So it's crazy. But this could even compete with anything that's over $400. But I'm going to tell you, they did a good job. Why? 
line was just picking up. I think that's from me putting that line on and I wasn't super tight with it. it can affect how the line comes off the reel. People buying some merch, bro? Yeah, dude. That's two. Give them a shout out. Two orders. You want a merch shout out? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do a merch shout out. We got two orders. Let's see what we got. By the way, if you guys want to check out the merch, you can check it out down below, kickingtheirbass.com. I appreciate everybody who supports this as well, guys. This helps me out a lot. Helps out with the gas money as well. Cody, how much gas money did we spend on that Texas uh, trip? A few thousand. <laughs> Only a couple thousand dollars. It's actually the same person, April Dillon. I'm assuming that might be somebody's mother, and I'm probably ruining their present, Cody. Uh-oh. I, I can't. Can I, can I do this? I guess so. So we got a kick in their bass muscle hoodie, and then we have a big bass energy hat. Thank you so, or actually no, we have a kick in their bass trucker cap. Thank you so much for the support. Everybody who supports the brand in any way, um, I really appreciate it. Even you guys watching right now, thank you so much. But if you guys do want to go check out the merch, you know, get your swag on while you're going fishing, kickintheirbass.com. I'll link it down below. So this was the exact spot I was standing when I lost the biggest fish of my life. It broke me off. I was standing right here. I beamed across that little point. I got my bait right here and he just turned on it and snapped me off. And I really think that that bass is every bit of 12 to 13 pounds. And then like this corner right here, my buddy Delton has caught like a seven pounder like three or four times. So I'm just hoping that we hook into one. It's been so long since we smoked him out here. But I know it's possible and these fish are schooling right here. Dude, it was like every time that we would come back here, Delton would catch a seven pounder in this corner on a chatterbait. It happened like three times in a row. In the same spot. It was weird. Maybe he's sitting there today. We're throwing a little red eye shad by Strike King. You guys want to get a discount i have the link and code down below i am just fan casting this trap you know this is one of my favorite baits to throw haven't thrown it a lot in the last year for some reason i kind of go through phases with baits but every time that's not a fish every time i come out here i've had really good luck on a trap and the main reason i came out with it today is because something was telling me to come to this exact pond and throw this bait it was just like a gut feeling, so I wanted to come out here and just kind of fan cast this around. We've caught a lot of big fish out here on it. I lost the biggest fish of my life on it, and I was like, you know what? Maybe we'll go out today and end up hooking one over 10 pounds. So that's the main reason. And it's a confidence bait of mine. So, and I haven't been fishing in two weeks, so I was like, I want to put on something that I think we could catch a really big fish on. So this is the pond that my mind was telling me that we need to come to. I think we're gonna catch them here. It's been about three years, but there's some decent fish in here. They're super fat in this pond, so hopefully this pond is still good and has some fish in it. So let's go ahead and figure it out. I see what's going on here. You've been holding back ponds from me, huh? Yeah, it's been kind of kept it a secret, you know. Just kept it in your pocket until we needed it. Look at that loon down there. You see that? Oh yeah. Does he have a fish in his mouth? I can't tell. He's kissing the fish before me. That's a big loon though. Like that's triple the size of the ones we see in Lake Mayer. What is on his head? Do you see that? I wish I could zoom Dude, in all the way. That's a monster. That's a monster shad in his mouth. That's a big shad, huh? Yeah. That's definitely what that is. It's a big loon, dude. I can't get over that. A little raptor neck sticking out of the water. Honestly, dude, it might just be a dinosaur. I don't know, we saw the, the Easter Bunny riding a motorcycle a second ago. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've ever been able to cast this far. Do you see how far I'm casting? Yeah, almost to the other side. I don't side. think I ever could cast that far in this pond. You made it all the way almost to that other bank. Let me see if I can... Dude. You see him shaking that shad around? <laughs> yeah. But do you notice something else? You see that pontoon over there? It says F-U on it. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we, bro? 
I couldn't tell you. You brought me here, man. <laughs> My mind brought us here. I know there was four cops at the entrance to this place. That's all I know. Hey, we're making the cast though. Just gotta wait for that bite. Is it kind of hard to cast this thing parallel with that grass or that moss being there on the on the bank? Yeah, I mean, the one thing, you know, when you throw treble hook baits, it can be hard, but I will say if there's any treble hook bait that you should throw in grass, it's definitely a lipless crankbait. You can't really get it through this slot, but if you're fishing like hydrilla, different grass, you can rip it through it really good. But, I mean, I can't throw it right in the middle of it, but I can definitely, one thing with the trap is you can rip it up, and when I rip it up, you know, it usually gets the grass off the hooks, so cool. It's a good thing with it. But yeah, if there's any bait, like with trebles, that you can throw in grass, it's 100% a trap. I think cast good. Yeah, honestly, this casting's so good, dude. Like, I mean, I'm being like, I've been using expensive reels recently, but this thing's like beaming. I want to try it once before we go. Yeah, 100%. If I can throw that thing across the pond, anybody can. <laughs> Let's cast oh, you see that? Again. Where? Right here. been three years it's got all the signs of a healthy pond dude we saw that loon eating bait fish We've seen a few blow-ups here and there you know like the one thing I found out about this pond is it's like a it's kind of a timing thing every time I would come out here you I would only really catch them when they were chasing bait but it was like crazy oh my god Dude, that's a big bro. It's a big Oh my gosh! Cody, look at that! Look at that right there, baby! Look at that! <laughs> yes! Alright, thank you, buddy. And hopefully, you cured my sickness. There he goes. Dang, Cody. We've been waiting on that for two weeks, nice brother. One. That nice was a good one. fish. Couldn't have been better. Guys, that is the best feeling in the world. And this, God, dude, this sucker is beaming. I don't know if it's just getting better is more that we're using it. That was the fish that we were looking for. Let's keep on making some casts. Let's see if we can catch one even bigger than that one. Pounder. Look at that trap gone, bro. The trap is gone. He ate it. He swallowed it. <sighs> Holy cow. Oh my god, look how he ate it, bro. That is wild. He choked it. You got those pliers? <laughs> oh, I do. Hold on. <laughs> Dude, he ate that sucker. He didn't just nibble at it, he ate it. Look at that right there, guys. Man, that's a pretty fish. I will say these fish are just so healthy. I think we have to make another comeback to this pond, Cody. Yeah. We definitely have to come film another episode out here. Yeah, we forgot my pole. These fish are super healthy. I know, you gotta come out here and you gotta get your own. But that is a pretty fish. Let's go ahead and get her back in the water. Let her swim another day. Maybe we can come back the next time and catch her. Thank you, baby. He goes wow these fish are fighting hard too man i don't know if it's just because i haven't fished in two weeks but these fish are fighting really good but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i think we're gonna end it off on that fish catch i had an awesome time today and i just wanted to show you guys a little bit about the rod and uh, let me tell you that thing is casting so well once i got everything dialed in and set up right 
That thing is casting like a dream. But stay tuned because we're gonna have these things on pre-order very soon. They're gonna go quick. I'm telling you, hour max, they're gonna be sold out. So stay tuned, go follow me on my Instagram at Kicking the Bass TV. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Thank you guys for the love and support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.